Hello everybody. What's up? Hey everybody, uh this is Microbody5 and I'm gonna show you how to switch to a bucket server from from just your normal Minecraft server. Now bucket servers are different because they are awesomer and you can get plugins, which is one of the big things about bucket servers. Plugins or just like mods. There's a list. I'll 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 show you. There's a list full of plugins on the bucket website, and it's just better. So, uh, on my internet browser, I'll give you a link to this website here. Um, this is a list full of uh, craft bucket versions. Now, click whatever's at the top, and this is. These are um, <coughs> these are development build versions of craft bucket as said right here so download the latest one in this case the latest one is 1.2.4 now pretty soon this video is gonna get old and there's probably gonna be a 2.0 or 5.0 or 500 billion point oh. so uh, save the file into a folder now I recommend this is an empty folder I don't care what you name it or where you put it but I'm gonna call mine bucket server whoops I really don't care what you name your folder but I'm gonna make an empty folder and name it bucket server and paste it onto my desktop so open this file and put your uh, file in the folder and rename it to craft whoops bucket so you rename it to that if this this uh, then you click on it and it loads a bunch of files okay so if you click on it and you know it doesn't work uh, you can rename it to craft bucket dot jar um, that's that's how you do it um, so uh, here this is your worlds this is plugins as you can see here all you do is paste plugins into this folder and that's it there's no you know installing to do or anything depending on the plugin now i recommend the first plugin you get is called essentials i'm pretty sure that's what it's called um but uh it's a great plugin and i love it and it 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 gives you all kinds of commands that it's just tons of commands and it's helpful and there's even a guide to shows you all the commands and what they do. It's a great, great plugin. I'll I'll get into that later. So <coughs> this is your new, brand new files. This is your server. This is what you're going to be using to run your server. So do what I do. Whoops. Yeah. All right. All right. So go on Notepad. Or yeah. And in Notepad, you're going to want to. Uh, type in something. You're gonna type in this right here. Now, sometimes this doesn't work. Uh, sometimes it depends because there's different things you can paste into the Notepad file. Uh, whichever one you're using, just just read this and yeah, um, yeah. Open Notepad and type this. If you're running Java in 32-bit mode or on a 64-bit machine. You change some things if you're running Java 7. Type this instead. Um, but I'm I'm just using the old standard Java, so um, Java 6, I believe. And paste that here, and save it to your bucket bucket file. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I have a something in my throat. Um, so uh into your bucket file uh, type in run dot bat that's how you do it and you save it in there make sure you type exactly what I did and uh whoa so in here uh this is where it will save the batch file and yeah you click on it to run your server but don't do it yet because hang on Sometimes your computer will run a bit slower if you're using a older processor, which I am. And you can go in Task Manager under Processes, and in case something doesn't work or delete or anything, you always go down here and delete this Java W. 
Now don't delete this file if you're running your server because it'll screw, it'll probably screw things up. But uh, if your server's not running, it's always good to delete that file. It saves a lot of space on your CPU and it makes things work better. So uh, then you can run your server, but don't do that yet because right now you have to delete these files. This is your world and this is just a blink world. Now if you, if you are new and this is your first time hosting a server and you're completely starting over uh, this is this is what you're gonna do um, these are your files just go to uh, portforward.com I'm not gonna show you everything on this website but this is just a guide on how to forward ports now your port number 25565 is what you're gonna wanna forward um, scroll down here um, find your router, your modem, which connects you to the internet. Scroll down. This is, this is the one I'm using. This You don't click here unless you're using the same router that I am. I'm using a Netgear WNR1000 V2. So I'm going to I'm going to click that. Uh, skip the advertisement. Uh, this is this is totally free. This is totally free and um yeah, so then it t it takes a while to load on slower computers, but um, whoops, whoa! So this is a list full of games. Now the game we're doing is Minecraft. So you scroll down, and look for Minecraft server, and that is right here. And then it shows you how to forward the port number. Yay, good! But sorry for those of you who are still switching to this because I wasted your time and your port is already forwarded so delete these files if you now for those of you who are new um, new server owners new server hosters then you can stop the video and you're done but for those of you who are switching to this craft bucket server uh, delete these files and go to your old server old server folder um, <coughs> and it's named world that's what it is by default just drag it on in to your new server and it will run as your new world now if your if your folder is named something different like server world or something it could be named anything if you named it anything other than world then you go into server properties file and type in the name of the folder here, so these two must match. Uh, you can oh, and you have to rechange all the um, settings here. So uh, I don't care what you set them. Um, yeah, and that's how you make a. B that's how you switch to bucket server. And if you have any questions at all, if you're confused or you're frustrated if you have a comment if you want me to do something any future videos or if you want to ask how I'm doing then please comment down below and I will get back to you in a flash so thanks for watching